Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. This is our daily perspective for today. And uh, we got two cards from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirits Oracle. The first one is a Cobra. It's a fire element. Look how pretty he is. Pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. The cobra represents a teacher or spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches, ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who've led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When in balance, a student of life, humble and wise. When out of balance, know-it-all, egocentric. To bring into balance, taking a class, study. Beautiful. The other card we got is the crocodile, which is a water element. Look how pretty he is. Resting, submerging, collecting energy, cooling off. The crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward. Now is not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. This doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing and building energy. Fill up the vital reserves so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. When in balance, wise, patient, and a silent powerhouse. When out of balance, feels stuck, lashes out. To bring into balance, rest and makarasana pose. That must be a yoga pose. Okay. Excellent. Excellent insight. And then our next uh, card that we drew for today is from the... Garden Dragons Oracle. It is a broccoli dragon place. Isn't he pretty? Let me see if I can focus better. There we go. Okay, mystical meaning. The broccoli dragon reminds you to find your best place. Uh, we are not always fortunate enough to live where we truly thrive. It's time to determine where your ideal spot in the world is. This is a physical place rather than a metaphorical place or metaphysical place. If you cannot pick up roots to move, get serious about clearing your home of unnecessary clutter. Set your mind to creating your own sacred space. Beautiful. I love him. He's so pretty. And then the next card we have is from the white sage tarot you know i love this little deck it's got chakra cards with it and today we got the three of wands preparation foresight you are well on your way <clears throat> but you can't get there alone collaboration um is the key let me do this one-handed collaboration is <laughs> Turning the page. The key to this venture at hand. The wands are wrapped in blue ribbon, signifying the importance of clear communication and teamwork. Chakra 5, throat blue light. So let's look at the chakra cards. Chakra cards. Okay. Um, chakra 5. Visuddha. Throat, blue light, sky expansion, ethereal energy, speak your truth. And then the other one is, let's see, five. 
higher levels of expression and communication. Beautiful. And then don't freak out, everybody. Everyone freaks out when they see this card. We go over to the Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling. And let me see if I can... There we go. We got the death card today. Change, loss, upheaval, renewal. Few people relish the appearance of death, but it is rarely a warning of physical death. It, this unlucky 13th card can represent calamity and endings, but mostly it signals fresh beginnings, for which something has to give way. The card signals the passage from one stage of life to another, which may involve sacrifice and pain, but there is no other way to renewal. This card represents a creative revolution for transformation of life, probably involving the loss of friendly family or business connections, but only as the prelude to a fresh and rewarding phase of life. In physical health, it can warn of a potential crisis if you pay no attention to warning signals, but this card is more usually concerned with spiritual health and the need for periodic renewal to avoid stagnation. See? Not so bad, right? New beginnings. We are okay with the death card. It's going to be just fine. And then, last but certainly never least, a note from the universe. Let me see if I can hold this steady. When in doubt, give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace. When there's no doubt, give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace. Did I make life too easy? The universe. P.S. There's no doubt who is number one in my book. Shh. Oops. What you give will come back. That is true. Karma right there. Right? Okay. I hope that uh, this pool for today it gave you a perspective and something saying to you out of all of these messages and you take it into your day and make it the greatest day ever. And I uh, will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.